Hey YouTube, it's Jen. So I know I tweeted and Facebooked about how I wasn't going to be able to do videos for a while because I caught a really nasty cold. Um, well, I still wanted to do them. I've been trying really hard to get videos up semi-frequently, so this is one I can do that I don't really have to smell much because right now I basically have no sense of smell, which for me really sucks. But this is a tag video, um, Makeup Freak, so I just put it up, but I thought it'd be a good idea to do one. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the five products I regret buying tag, and I do have a few. Thankfully, not a ton are from Bath & Body Works, mainly because they have an awesome 100% satisfaction guarantee. And that means basically if you don't like the product, you can go and exchange it or return it, hopefully with no hassle. I haven't really had any hassles, but I know some people have. I, my general rule is I keep the receipt. If I don't have it, I'm most likely not going to return it. I'll either use it or give it to a friend just because I know how it is. It's hard, and you never know when someone's returning something without a receipt if they stole it or whatnot. I just don't want to be one of those customers. So I will go ahead and get started. First off, um, it's not Bath & Body Works. This is a shampoo and conditioner. This is the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration. And I got this and then the separate conditioner, and I hated them both. This weighed my hair down so much, it made it really sticky. And it seems like a good idea, you know, hydration, um, my hair does tend to get dry, and it smelled great. It was like a nice coconut orchid scent, but it just did not work well on my hair. And yes, it's all gone because um, Jeremy used it up. Next is a home fragrance oil from Bath & Body Works. This is a Sea Island Cotton, and I had gotten this at the outlet. This was in a bunch of um, hodgepodge stuff that was 6 for 15, so I did the 12 for 20 with my survey coupon, and I got like three of these. And it's not that I don't dislike this, it's the fact that I have three of them, and it takes me so long to get through home fragrance oils. So basically they're just collecting shit, um, space on my shelf, and I'm just kind of <laughs> regretting them, really. But, um... Most of them are used, so I plan on giving those away to somebody, maybe you guys, who knows. But I just regret buying three of these. I really only needed one. Um, next is a lip product from Maybelline. And this is the Color Sensational Lip Stain. And I really like the idea of lip stains because I'm not a lipstick girl. I really don't like the feel of them. They're a little too heavy. Um, and overall, this is a really pretty color, and it wears really well on my lips, but the problem is it has absolutely no lasting power, which is kind of the main appeal of a lip stain. You expect it to last a while, and this really does not hold its own, so I was really disappointed. I do want to try a few other lip stains just to see how they compare. If you guys know a really good lip stain brand, let me know, and <coughs> I'll check it out. Okay, next is a Tarte, and this is from Yankee Candle. This is Coconut Bay. And I really like coconut scents, so I really had high hopes for this, but, oh, and I can still smell it. It has a weird spice note, and this is supposed to be a nice summery fragrance, but I smell cinnamon in it. I don't know why, but it kind of threw me off, so, yeah, I was kind of disappointed by Coconut Bay. And then last but not least is a lip gloss. This is the Liplicious Fruit Punch, and the scent is great, um, however, it's sticky, and I'm not a big fan of the color. It almost looks kind of fake on me. Kind of just like a generic bright color I would have worn when I was about 13 with those cheap lip glosses you got. I just wasn't a fan of this at all. So, yeah, really didn't care for that. But I'm, I'm getting through it slowly but surely because I don't like to waste. So yeah, these are the five products I regret buying. Um, you should comment below and tell me the five products you regret buying because I'd be interested to hear. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. I will put my Facebook page and Twitter in the video description so I can keep you guys updated. And that's all. Thanks, guys. Bye.